How's it going once again guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Liberation. Last time we were together, we snuck in and killed the Governor, who's working with the Templars, which is kind of interesting. And now we're back in the Assassin uniform and we need to go and tear down some posters. Is what I, need. I think we need, well we don't need to go and tear down some posters, but it's probably a good idea because at this point they really want to get hold of me. They really do want to take me down. Okay, go on, tear down the poster. There, tear it down. Tear it all down. Wait, what? Oh, of course, that's the uh, that's the slaves' posters, isn't it? Like, as the assassin, I, I, I think I'm pretty well sought after, to be honest. Okay, it's all right. We want to get straight to the destination because what I'm planning on doing with this series is I'm not really going to beat around the bush that much. I just want to see the story, mainly. That's kind of why, like, why I'm invested in this one. Uh, all the other games, say, for instance, I usually tend to play through on a completionist, you know, OCD moment just because, yeah, otherwise OCD does go a little bit mental. Like, for instance, I'm going to go get this chest, otherwise OCD will be shouting at me. <laughs> we like to call him OCD. He likes to be part of the family. But yeah, right. Um, as I was saying, we're going to be moving on with the main stories a lot more in this one, if you get what I mean, just because I, I do want to get through the story pretty quickly. And if we end up doing lots and lots of side missions, that's going to detract away from the main story, isn't it? So, right, I am going to pull down some of these, though, just because... Ah, oh, was that... Wait, which one was that? I think that was my... Thingy one. The the lady guys. The lady persona. I am a lady, you know. I am. <laughs> Although, wait, do I have a sword at the moment? I think I have one sword and one gun. Okay, fair enough. I was kind of hoping to have a few more than that. Like, I know it would be a bit silly to have me, like, tooled up as much as Edward Kenway, but Edward Kenway's got two swords, four guns. You know, the man can't be stopped. He's got weapons everywhere. Although, I suppose, what have I got? I've got hidden... Oh, no, okay, I don't... What? But there's a sword right there. Right there. Why can't I use it? Oh, that's unfair. It's okay. Later. Later. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe now. Get the sword out. Get the sword out. Come on, it's right on my head. Get the sword out. What are you doing? Okay, LB to activate chain kill mode. What? Okay. So, I'm never going to use this. Alright, use to select your targets. And then mark with X button, then kill with A using the... What? So, mark and unmark them using X. So, X. 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 So, I can do that with X. And then kill them using A. Oh, right. I see. Okay. That is vaguely awesome. <laughs> it kind of makes it a little bit easy, though, if you get what I mean. All right, we did sequence one. Hell yeah. I have no idea how many sequences there are, but sequence one. You can have a little nod towards that. So, Animus memory notes. Two years have passed since Savine disposed of the governor. During that time, she found no trace of the man called Thadair. Yet his plans continued to threaten New Orleans' population. Oh, so that's the guy we're trying to kill. I suppose he's the Templar guy. He is the villain of the story. The antagonist. Oh, crocodile. I wonder if we can fight it. We can probably skin it. My I wonder if we can actually do any skinning. Oh, okay. The hornet's nest grows. I retreat to safety. The better to observe and strike. I require your assistance. Use your gifts to follow my trail. May the lower guide you swiftly. Okay, so when it says gifts, I'm assuming it means the eagle vision. So, new items and weapons have been unlocked in the shop. Yay. Although I still don't know why we can't use the sword. <laughs> it's right on our hip, and the game won't let us even draw it. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking for? We're looking for... Oh, Hello. I'm not sure how she saw that round the tree, but fair play if she can see that. Is that is that a skull? That looks kind of like a skull. Although at the same time it doesn't, so we need to analyse this clue. Okay, so that's the first clue. So it's not a skull, but it's a mask. But, you know, skull type mask looking thing. Skull mask. Holy crap, maybe I should not go in the water. There will be crocodiles in here. Okay, go, 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 quickly. Quickly, Avin. Go, 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 go. And we made it without actually getting eaten by a shark. That was... That's surprising. I really wasn't expecting that to happen. 
<laughs> I was expecting just to get, you know, go in there within a second. I've been eaten by a shark, and it turns out I can't fight back. Okay, the last clue. Instead of going in the water this time, I think we're going to go along the top just in case. Not shark. Wait, did I say sharks? I think I said sharks, didn't I? Why am I getting sharks and crocodiles mixed up? Sorry, crocodiles. Bloody sharks. <laughs> Although, those guys you should watch out for as well, because, you know, sharks can rip your teeth off. And with their teeth, I suppose. What the fuck am I talking about? Let's <laughs> Right, so anyway, where is this final thing? Is it going to be... I think it might be up top. Once again, I'm surprised I've not been attacked by a crocodile. Okay, so where is this mask? Is it going to be up high? I hope not. Actually, it's probably on the other side of this tree, because I can't imagine they put it in the lake. Although they might, just to be dicks about it, but... We shall see if it's around here instead. Um, oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Here's a clue. Is that gonna is that gonna let us analyze that clue? No. Okay. So we can't analyze that clue. But we can go. Oh, there it is. There it is. Pretty, pretty close actually. Okay. Analyze the mask. I'm not sure what these are gonna tell us. But fair enough. So meet with Agate. If that has been pronounced right. I'm sure it'll tell me in the cutscene. And then I'll immediately forget it. And never use it again. <laughs> and then call him something very strange. Because that seems to be what I do with names I can't pronounce. Alright, so let's start the memory. Agate, you wrote of the enemy? Yes. Deep in the bayou. A dangerous imposter spreads real roots. He calls himself Francois Macandal. My own mentor. Dun, dun, dun. The leader. The priest, the brother, to whose cause I devoted my life. He was put to death by fire. Jesus. I failed to prevent it. Who is this imposter, and what are his affiliations? This you will need to uncover. But first, preparations. Preparations? Francois Macandal was an expert in poisons. Poisons? This Wolf. blowpipe was his. A Brilliant. fine weapon. A single dart blown from a distance will fell a man. You may use this to your advantage if you approach in stealth. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, was, I was considering charging headlong into battle with that blowpipe, but you know... You're the boss, eh? You're the boss. Right, so how do I get that up? So it's the right button to equip the poison dart. So it's fast poison dart. Alright, so aim... Oh, no, it's not back trigger. So you've got to hold A to aim with range... Oh, no, sorry. Hold Y to aim with range weapons. And does that move around? Shoot a target with a fast poison. Ah, oh, okay. I see what's going down now. There is no sort of manual targeting. It does seem to be very... You just have a target in front of you and you shoot at it. So what are we shooting at now? Oh, okay. I want to get climb the nearby tree. I can do that. I did kind of think it was going to want us to shoot a frog or something, but I'll climb the tree as well. And go! That was terrible. Wait, how do I climb this thing? Oh, right. No, it's fine. There's vines on this side. Vines are always good, although they're very unstable. I tried climbing vines at one point on a tree in real life, and they did not hold. They did not hold. Not even barely. It's like, you know, get a little bit up, fall down. Really badly hurt myself. Right, so what are we shooting now? Should shoot the target with the fast poison again? Oh, wait, no, I can use that. Can I? No, that's the investigation button. Of course I can't use that. That's a shame. And fire the blow dart. Excellent enough. Dive into the haystack. That's not a haystack. That's, that's a pile of wood. All right, go. Oh, shit. It's okay, I'm not dead. Or maybe I am, I'm not getting out. Wait, do I need... Oh, I can shoot from inside here. Now that is useful. Aha! Yes! Done and done. Okay, so next up. Next up, uh, wait, wait, what? Oh, I've got to climb the building. Oh, that makes no sense at all. Wait, maybe it does. Because I'm not sure I can... Can I get up here from here? I should be able to get up there. I'm an assassin. I'm really good at climbing. It's kind of their redeeming features, but there doesn't seem to be a way... Oh, wait, no. We have found a way up. 
So this is our mentor, I think it's trying to say. Or maybe someone else up here. Or the guy was talking about his mentor. Well, that also means my mentor is a completely different matter. But hey-ho. No, that's not it. What the hell? Is it downstairs? Wait, well, it can't be down here, can it? Where the hell is this mission? Look, it's right on the map. Maybe, maybe I should just go this way. No, that's a swamp. Okay, we don't want to go into the swamp. I think we do want to get on top of that thing. So maybe, maybe we should go up to the viewpoint. Possibly. Sorry, right, up we go again. Let's, let's, let's have another look around. <laughs> Take another detour around the world. Right, up we go. Excellent. And what is this? Is this some kind of... Can I interact with this? Um, no, I can't interact with that. Oh, wait, there he is. He's up top. So he wasn't through a door. I just had to climb even further. This thing goes up really high. This is impressive. He probably built this himself. You, sir, are a legend for building this. This is amazing. You know, pride where pride's due, the I suppose. The false Macandal gathers followers. They attempt to overtake smuggling operations on the bayou. To finance what, I cannot say. There is a smuggler, a woman named Elise Lafleur. Lafleur. She knows every bog and tangle of the swamp. You. Perhaps she could be persuaded to help. I'm sure I can motivate her. Good. When you get to Macandal, use your darts to approach. But remember, you will need to complete your mission using more direct means. So, I'm killing someone. Kill a bitch, fair enough. And can I jump off of this? And go. Yes, I can. <laughs> I still don't get tired of the whole leap of faith. Just because, you know, they always make it into something different. Or you're jumping off of something else. There's never, like, the same thing over and over again. So you have varying heights. And you never really get tired of it. Despite the fact that I've been playing Assassin's Creed games since the first one. And, you know, Leap of Faith has always been a pretty big thing in that. And you'd think it maybe would have got a little bit old by now, but it's not. It still hasn't, which is which is great. Oh, there's a guy. There is a guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Me... Should I kill him? He doesn't seem to be doing anything of any harm, so... Maybe, maybe I'll leave him alone. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave that guy alone. He seems to be just chilling, to be honest. Over we go. Let's go through the swamp again. Because there are actually no alligators in here. Oh, shit. What's that? What's that? Oh, no, no. It's okay. It's just moss. That's good. That's good. Moss is good. I can deal with that. But alligators, maybe not. Why are there no alligators? This is really worrying me. We saw one earlier in a cutscene. There was one right there. <laughs> was that just to sort of lull us into some kind of false hope for alligators? We Constantly offer worrying. two choices. You give up the river. Or we take the river. Or you suffer before you die. Three choices then. You dare threaten me? You bracket-faced parasite. I'm no more claim here than the dung beetles. You'd best heed the lady. We have you outnumbered. Look around, old man. Your hired hands will flee at the first sign of trouble. Aye, but the lady's temper alone could take on an army. And the oh. swamp is no friend of yours. Okay, so what? These guys... Am I going to help them? Go to the smuggler's hideout? I am in the smuggler's hideout. And kill the thugs. Remain undetected. So we need to kill three guys. And we're not allowed to be seen doing it. I can do that, I suppose. Can we hide in bushes? We don't seem to be able to hide in bushes. That's that's a little weird. Um, okay, so what first target is over here? Chit, 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 chit. Into the brush and assassinate. Oh, good God, that was kind of brutal. Okay, next ones. Where are they? There's another one on top there. Right, we'll kill that one as well. Oh shit. So okay, round the corner. Wait, is this guy not an enemy? Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that the sword? Wait, where's the sword gone? I oh uh, what? He seems she seems to have put away her sword and now is refusing to get it out again. Oh, what is happening? 
<laughs> I am starting to wonder now whether the whole sword thing is a little bit of a glitch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And stabbed in the back. They're going to see that dead guy's body. They're going to see that guy's body and they're not going to be amused. Okay, next up. Last guy over there. Right, go, 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 go. Yeah! And we got him. Kill one guard using fast poison. Oh, I really should have killed them using the poison. Okay, rescue the smugglers. Go, go, go. Oh, ho, ho. That was a nice running one. Yeah, kicked your ass. Who the hell are you? A fine display of gratitude. I'm no enemy, if that's what you fear. I fear nothing. My name is Aveline. I seek the leader of these men. He calls himself Francois Macandal. You seek him? To what end? A final one. <laughs> ah, then you are my kind of woman. Name's Roussillon. My uh, partner in crime is Elise. Though uh, I've heard her called otherwise. Bitch. Will you help me find their base? No one knows these waters as you do. In return, I'll restore your control of this territory. I've Ooh. built... We've invested years of work in this camp. Why would we need your help? Four reasons, right there. Good would you point. not prefer to move your wares freely? If you think there's only one base, you really do need me. Those louts are spread out thin as swamp gas. It's settled then. Elise will help you find the blighters. And I'll kill the blighters. Sounds like a perfectly good match up to me. But we only got the 50% completion because I didn't kill them with the, uh, the blow darts, which is unfortunate. So, I think this is a perfect place to end that one, guys. So, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.